Welcome back to Clary Studios. Today we're going to be reviewing this Go Lumup Solar LED Landscape Light. It's got 36 LEDs and uh, it comes in two pieces. It sticks right into the ground with a 15 inch spike, it goes right to the ground. It's also IP67 water and dust proof. All right, let's, let's get it open and see what it looks like. The uh, LED piece there. That's, look, that's gonna be pretty bright. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than I thought. I was expecting. The LED lights are pretty, pretty bright. Or I mean, they're pretty big. And it looks like it came with two. All right, I was only expecting one. That's cool. And this, this must be the stakes. All right, let's get them open. All right, so right out of the box. Uh, we have the two LED heads, we have the two uh, wand stakes, and we have a user's manual. So go ahead and looking at this head unit, it looks pretty simple and straightforward. You got the solar panel on top, you have the uh, 36 LEDs uh, inside the head, and of course there's a little uh, mounting bracket for the lawn stakes that is adjustable when you turn that little knob. And there is a power button right there to activate the unit. Just like any other solar power device, you want to charge it in the sun for at least eight hours before you're using it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set them up, go let it charge all day, and then try them out tonight. Now, even though they're not charged yet, and I just took them out of the box, usually solar power, you can test them real quick. So we're going to do that. Uh, so to, to turn them on, obviously you have the power buttons here. So the instruction manual said to push and hold for three seconds and it should light on to its brightest setting. Once it's on its brightest setting, you can push the button again to dim it and then once again to turn it off. So we're gonna turn off the lights and see if they turn on. Okay, one, two, three. All right, that one came on. One, two, three, that one came on, all right. So as you can see, they work. They are pretty bright. And if you push the button once again, they dim, uh, so if you want to, if you want them to last longer, they're supposed to last eight hours overnight on the brightest setting, 14 hours on this dimming setting. So it just depends how long you want them to light overnight. Uh, 14 hours might be a little too long for what I'm going to use them for. And again, if you just press the buttons once more, they turn off. And inserting the stake to the light unit, it's actually pretty simple. You just put it right in until it clicks and that's it. So I'm going to place one of my spotlights right here in front of this water fountain that we can light it up at night. So I'm just going to stick it right here. I'm not sure how close or how far it needs to be. It looks like it's going to be pretty bright. So I think I'm going to try this distance and I can adjust it tonight if it's not close enough or if it's too far. And the second one I decided to place in my backyard facing one of my rose bushes. Now I will say that uh, you may have to use a shovel because my ground is really hard in this spot right here and I had to give, uh, give a little bit of encouragement to get it in there. Uh, I didn't feel like I can push too hard on the plastic piece without breaking it so just a heads up on that. Alright so these are going to get some sunlight for about eight hours today and then we'll come back tonight and see how they look. All right, and here we are at night with it on. This is the full brightness on right now. As you can see, it lights up my tree pretty well compared to the rest of my backyard. It's pretty, pretty bright, bright just in this one spot. And then here in my front yard on the water fountain, it looks pretty good. All right, I'd say overall they are pretty bright, exactly what you need. The uh, quality is nice and the plastic's not that cheap plastic. It's actually kind of hard and solid. It's nice. And uh, yeah, I would definitely uh, recommend checking these out.